Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to apologise for the absolute terrible lighting <laughs> for a start because yes, I'm just literally wanted to show you what I have finished. Um, I was working on a friend's hat and if you remember like my last video, I was doing it um, crochet and I was doing it in the back loops only. Well, I changed my mind and I unravelled everything that I had done and just because I wasn't gonna have enough of this gray. Um, this is all the gray that I have, plus what's in the pom-pom, and a tiny, tiny little bit. So this is all that, all that dark gray, plus I added a cuff of light gray, and I added a bit to the top as well, and into the pom-pom. Um, he wanted a long hat, it's covered in pink hair. <laughs> um, he wanted a long hat, um, like a bed hat. <clears throat> Why? I don't know. Um, he wanted it. I made it. Um, he saw the hat that I made. I wore it a couple of weeks ago because it was freezing. I think it was just before it snowed and it was so cold. Um, but this is how long it is, so... I'm not gonna put it on again because I put it on the last time and there's just all hair in it. But you can see it is the same pattern I used for the boys' hats, um, but I used 96 stitches. Um, I probably could have got away with using less stitches. Um, he could probably wear it as a normal hat if he doubles it over um, again, or if he just wants um, a bigger, brim um so yeah he that is the reason why i did it like this is so that he can wear it as a normal hat if he wants to um he wanted a big pom-pom so i did the largest size that was in my pack of um pom-pom makers i have the, the cheap plastic ones um but let me put this on i think even with it sort of that big he has got a bigger head than me um, I think even that big looks quite nice, um, but he wants it, I will put it on, I'll probably look like an idiot, but anyway, um, he wants it, so, <laughs> oh. now he wants it, so it's really long at the back, don't know how well you can see that, um, and he probably won't wear it, so that is why I've just done it sort of like this, um, but I think like this, it, I quite like it I really do like it like this um, or he can wear it doubled once or flipped over once it's all pink hair really um, and it's a bit shorter um, you can wear it to the side you can sort of I, I normally when I got my hat on I normally pull this bit down so then it's sort of like that at the bottom bit anyway oh it's really hot <laughs> um i have had the window open but it just keeps blowing shut so it probably will blow shut again um yeah so i'm really pleased with it and i think it looks really nice whether he will wear it i don't know um i did do it in the round the pattern is um i can't remember if it's it's just called the simple rib knit hat and this is from Pinterest. I just went on Pinterest and put in um, knitted hat and it does come up. So if you put in rib knit hat, then it should come up on Revel, not Ravelry, Pinterest. Um, now my hair is a mess, but anyway, I was thinking of making myself a gray and pink one and oh, I have got um, some pom-poms that I bought. Excuse the mess behind me, but I'm just gonna go and grab them. Ian's working on a few bits that is on the side, so <laughs> I've just sort of left them. But me and Ian's mum went to Pound Stretcher Saturday, is it Sunday? Sunday it was, and I picked up some pom-poms. Probably can't see them very well, but I'll get them out. I got a lovely pink one, a black one, a grey one, a white one, 
Um, another grey one that's exactly the same. And then I've got a different coloured pink one. So I got six in all. Now on the ticket it says one pound. They were 50p. Um, and I picked up two, no, I picked up four and Ian's mum picked up one. Yeah, she picked up one. Um, and we got to the till and they come up at 50p each and I, we actually got to the car and she said, oh, you should have got more of those because I explained that what I'm going to do is I wanted to make myself a, a hat, excuse me, myself a hat and use this as the actual pom-pom. Um, I know it's all the rage at the moment, but um, so I was going to do a grey and pink hat and use this as a pom-pom. And she said, well, why don't you just go and get some more for the sake of 50p? And I was like, yeah, that's true. And she went, go and get me another one. <laughs> so, yeah, I got some of them. But I think the weather is warming up now. So what is the point in me making a hat? Um, I really don't know. And I think this lighting is terrible. I'm just going to move you a little bit. That is probably a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I just thought, what is the point in me making a hat when the weather's warming up? And I think I'm a bit all hatted out. I'm afraid um, but I'll see I'm gonna work on my top a little bit more um, and see how I get on my knitted top and see how I get on with that and then maybe just cast one of these on for myself and just do it as and when I want to wear this I I just worked on this I haven't made any progress on anything else um, I have literally just worked on this to get it finished um, and as you can see I was running out with the dark grey so I just put in a bit of the light grey at the top and I think it works pretty well. So I'm pleased with that. I have sent him a picture and he hasn't got back to me yet, but I've literally only just sent it. So that's that. And I am working on this that came. Um, this is for Mother's Day, but I don't think my mum watches my videos. If you do, don't look. <laughs> um, but I don't think she does. But I have got this. 5D diamond painting. I have put all the black on already and some of the orange. I've still got quite a few of the orange sort of up here to go. So, and I'm really, really pleased with it. I think it's gonna come out really nice. Um, and I have actually framed the one for Ian's mum as well. Let's see if I don't knock the tripod. <laughs> um, it's not in the frame very right, so I, I need to change that, but. Um, I have framed that one. Now, we I did buy this frame because <laughs> um, <clears throat> she was with me on Sunday and I, we went to B&M as well and I said, pick a frame out that you really like because we've got you something that needs to be framed. She picked out this frame and me thinking, oh, it'll be okay and whatever, um, it didn't fit. So I'm going to give her that frame anyway because I don't think we would use it. Um, and I've got her this frame and I will say to her if you want to reframe it in a different frame that's fine this one was from pound stretcher for 199 this frame the other one was 399 I think um, and then for the diamond painting I think that was two pounds something so all in all under a tenner for a Mother's Day gift that I've made myself um, and we'll get her a card and a bunch of flowers so yeah that's that um that's everything that i've got to show to show today um i'm going with ian's sister to pick up um my nephew he has been to spain this week with college um so i just wanted to film this video quickly before she turns up and we go up the road um it's only at stancid so it's not that far but she's not 100% sure on the way and I did say to her it's pretty straightforward um, but I'm not doing anything anyway so I said I would go with her. Um, bit of a health update if you remember I went for an MRI a couple of weeks back um, they have now said that um, I haven't seen the doctor I've just spoke to the receptionist and she gave me the basically what the doctor had wrote as a report. <clears throat> um, I have a bulging disc and I have a dry disc um, and I have a posture something I couldn't quite understand what she was saying um, but I have an appointment on the 19th of March to go and see the doctor to see what he wants to suggest for me 
Um, I take Cocodamol and they don't really do anything for me. They don't even really touch me for any pain, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, the last couple of months, my back has just got worse and worse and worse. Um, so, yeah, I have a bulging disc and a dry disc. And I've read up on the internet, like you do, I know you shouldn't, but apparently there is no cure as such. And that a healthy, active lifestyle helps. How can I be active if I'm in too much pain to do anything? <laughs> it just really doesn't make sense. So I am going to try and lose a little bit of weight and see if that helps because it is just getting worse and worse. And I'm finding that I'm doing less and less. So, um, like I said, I can't go to the gym. It just hurts too much. And I said this to the doctor, I said it just hurts too much. I literally get home and I'm crippled for two days. Like, why should I go for the gym for an hour to be crippled for two days? Um, yes, it will help me lose weight and be fit, but I'm just in too much pain with it. So, yeah, um, I've told doctor that I'm not working at the moment because of it. Um, I can't stand for too long and do hairdressing. Um, for instance, if I put a colour on someone's hair, that's me standing there for a good couple of hours, um, putting it on, rinsing it off, cutting it if they want it cut, blow dryer, straighten, so on and so forth. It takes time. And even when I was training, I was crippled with bad back. Um, then it got a little bit better and then it just got worse again. So I just think that it's something that probably will not get better, but I'll have good days and bad days. So yeah that's that at the moment um so i've got to go on the 19th which is still quite a while away away um where our doctors is just absolutely ridiculous i tried getting an appointment when i had my mri i tried getting an appointment for the whole of that next week oh sorry we ain't got nothing sorry sorry we ain't got nothing can you ring back on thursday then it was can you ring back on monday and then can you ring back on when and you know you think i just want an appointment all i want is an appointment like I actually looked at one of their website things and it says they've got over 6,000 patients like, and you're still taking on patients and I think there's four doctors there um, and one of them only works two days a week. So you know you think it's just, it's just ludicrous I suppose <laughs> um, and that is ludicrous not the singer. <laughs> um, so yeah it's just a case of waiting to see what the doctor says and going from there but yeah I'm just <laughs> I'm sad <laughs> um, I'm glad that they actually have found that something is wrong because if they had come to me come back to me and, and said there's nothing wrong we can't see anything then I think I would have been just so upset that like well there is something wrong I'm in pain why am I in pain what is going on um, so I'm glad that they've actually found something and hopefully something can be done. Anyway, I've rambled on far too long just to show you a hat and some pom-poms. So I'm going to go and I shall see you in my next video. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to start next. I did do an, another couple of squares on my temperature blanket, but it's nothing exciting. So I'll show you more of those when I do more. Um... So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of this diamond painting before my sister-in-law turns up and we go and pick up my nephew. Um, so yeah, I shall catch you in my next video. See you later.